Hey, it's your boy Cuffo here, and welcome to the third episode of the Matt Jackson My Player franchise, whatever you want to call it. Now, today's going to be an interesting episode because this is this game is in is about around June. It's going from June to July. Well, this episode. We will have Matt Jackson's decision on what he's going to do. And it's going to definitely be interesting for us. We are already down 2 nothing. A lot of stuff happens in this episode, so don't get turned away. Please watch this. It will have a very important point turning up throughout. So, make sure you just watch it, and don't, if you want to skip ahead, you can check out the other videos first, and then it will make sense for this episode. Make sure you check out the Ben Zoller Show channel, that I will have link in the description, like I had my other video, and, yeah. Alright, so we're going in. Here against the San Jose Quake, as I said, we are down two nothing. They're driving down the field, and it is saved by Matt Jackson trying to figure out where to put it, and throws it out to the the Austin FC player. Now these next couple games, as I said before. Very important, I have to stress that, because at the end of the video will be his announcement, and something big happens towards the middle of this. Now, as I am recording this, um, always, um, Damar Hamlin, prayers up for him, um, him and his family, gone through a lot the past couple of days, and wish him a... Very well recovery, and yeah, just overall, hope he gets better, and he probably won't be able to play football again, but hopefully he gets something relate, related to sports, because he's a great guy, I hope he does a lot. Now, as we continue on to this game, on a different note. So, the plus one minute is actually going to be a minute this time. And that will be it for the Austin FC vs. San Jose game. As you can see here, we're into our next game against Minnesota. And this is another game against them, as you saw in the last video. And... Yeah, this, depending on his option, could be a last game for a while. Not only in the, not in the MLS, but last game against Minnesota. And one of the last game he plays in the MLS for now, or maybe even forever. So, I mean, he's had an interesting career. He had a good, like the first episode, he played pretty well. And then... He really didn't do well the second, which caused him to lose 20 offers, and he only gained two. So he practically lost 18 offers, and the two new schools that offered him were FCS football teams. So, for football, he would be in the FCS. But he does have five FBS offers right now. Now, before we get into the whole decision part, and man, that was a great save there. Um, we'll see if he loses any offers. We will see what happens, um, how many offers he gains, and the big amount. I put a community post on my channel about the four 
big teams before um, posting this video. So the big four right now are Texas, not in a order, but Marshall, Texas A&M, Buffalo, and Vanderbilt. There's Air Force, who's the other one, but most likely not going to the um, Armed Forces, because that would be actually a very, very weird series. So 87 minutes in this game, now 88. Matt Jackson trying trying to make an impression um, so that way a lot of colleges look at him and so he still has a name going into college and hopefully out of college. So about 90 minutes left now. And man, this is just... So far, good games played by Matt Jackson, not allowing any goals in the games. A couple good saves. And, man, it will be very interesting to see what will happen later in the video. Because, especially depending how this video goes, will most likely depend on his decision. Now, two... Minutes left, they clear it, and that will be it. one nothing win for Austin FC. They are 1-1-0. One, one, and zero. So going in now to our game against Columbus Crew, we are down 2 nothing. And, yeah, it was the same thing with Mesa, just down by a lot to some good teams. And you just can't have that. This will definitely be just a shorter episode just in general because I do mul multiple clips sometimes. Um, and I'll, like, this probably would have been its own video no matter what, but I might have added some games in there if it was, if I thought it was too short. But it's actually, it's going to be, the gameplay is going to be short, the ending is going to be long. And no, it did not. I will tell you this: it, when you go to the end, no, it did not freeze. Uh, that's just how it is. It's just a picture of Pat Jackson explaining what his decision is, and then we will go into football season. And you can see there, Matt Jackson lets up a goal, and he just couldn't afford that. And, I mean, it's his only goal so far he's allowed, which is good. In three games, he's only allowed one goal. So, that is, well, for now. So, that's at least good. About 83, 84 minutes left now in this game. And a goal now for Austin FC trying to find a way to just beat the Columbus Crew after being down 3 nothing. So it's now 3-1. to one And Austin FC's ball. Now, um, college football season, if he does decide to go to college, will be interesting. Um, and I think he would definitely try to do college football no matter what, but it would probably be a walk-on somewhere, mostly wherever he is in the MLS. Right now it's Austin, could be somewhere else later on, and hopefully not too far away, because if it is, then... You're kind of in trouble. Especially if it's another country. Because most other countries don't offer American football as a sport. So you can see here, Austin FC trying to do some. There's 90 um, minutes left. And a plus one. Austin FC hoping to find some way to get two more goals. But it probably won't happen. So going 91 and another goal 
for Austin is 3-2. to two. So, one goal is not let up, and this game is a draw. Just running down the field, and they go, they call it, game over, and that will be it for Austin. Now, I'm not cutting, it's going to be jump cut, but it's just so I can tell you. So, if you couldn't get a good glimpse of what happened, and once the scoreboard's revealed, he got transferred away. This is what I mean. Middle of the video, something big happens. He got transferred to Atlanta United. And that's rough. You had a bit of a good game, but you just let up a goal. And your first play, you let up a goal with the new team. So, I mean, morale's down now. You're a backup, you're on a new team, and, I mean, about 80 minutes left. Well, 80 minutes have been played, but it, like, you gotta feel bad for him. He got transferred from Texas to Georgia, yeah, to Georgia, and, I mean, you can see right here, it's July. Um, and, yeah, another goal there. He's just getting scored on, and July is just, it's coming. And, sorry, 2-1, to one, Atlanta United's probably not very happy with his play so far. So, the fact that it's July, I think this is about his last game in... Um, well, for the episode and how games have been going with Atlanta not very happy, this could easily be his last game for now in the MLS. Um, it could be, could be heartbreaking. And if he does choose to play, it's going to be rough on him. So... Chicago Fire, I mean. Night, I don't even know, but I don't think they're the greatest team in the world. Um, about 87 left now. And look at that, another goal. 3-1, all when he went in, and I waited a second, but in Matt Jackson's mind, I think he knows what he's going to have to do, Um, but let's just finish out this game before we get to it. The last game of the episode before we go to the decision. Three one, it's very very rough considering the three goals were all by his own doing. They were winning one nothing and then lost. And that is game. Full time in Chicago, and Matt Jackson. There you can see he's kind of sitting there. He's realizing the reality of his situation. See there, just the goals just keep getting right past him. He's not having too grave reaction time. So as we go in. So, you see, I was on Austin FC, and then I trans I got transferred to Atlanta, where I decided to go. My first game, I let up three goals 
in my first game. Thank you to all the teams who have offered me. The people, the teams that have stayed with me throughout the rough times of the past couple weeks. Southeast Louisiana, Oakland, Drexel, Vanderbilt, Austin Pay, Texas A&M, Mountain Union, Buffalo, Air Force, Eastern Washington, Sacramento State, and Fairlight Dickinson. Thank you for staying with me, and I have decided that I will be playing college football and college soccer. Now, my top three teams have to be Vanderbilt, Texas A&M, and Buffalo. So, out of those teams, uh, I mean, it's, it's rough. I mean, I probably just have to go to whoever's the best. I you can tell I'm just at a loss for words at this point. After all the consideration, though, what would be my top three, I don't think I'm going to pick from them. There are two people I'm going to pick from. Fairlight Dickinson and Sacramento State. Fairlight Dickinson has been pretty good the past couple of years, and Sacramento State is at least an average team. Now... Fairlight Dickinson would be some would be pretty good to go. Go to. But so is of course Sacramento State. At this point I'm kind of just dragging it out, but the biggest deal breaker is I also want to play some football. Now, it's... I'm going to look at these teams, and it's practically going to be... What... Just what do I look at? So... What, where I'm going to be going is the deal breaker is football. I will be going to Sacramento State to play college football and college soccer. They're an FCS team, and even though it's still Division One soccer, but it's also Division One football, so I still got a good chance at both as a backup. And thank you, all the schools, for offering. But only two of them had programs I was interested in in soccer, and only one had football I was interested in that with the soccer program. Thank you all. And I will see you hopefully on the field for Sacramento State this August.